My name's Jason DeWild and welcome to a little documentary that I'm making on the making of Pelican Jed's latest record. We've been around for a very, very long time um, and now we're putting together, I suppose it's our first album, but we've already released a couple of EPs in the past and this is the making of this album. Here we go. So one of the first sessions we had was uh, for recording bass. Uh, and this was uh, at my place in Katoomba. We've got Mick there, who's our new bass player. He um, actually, we've known Mick for a long, long time. He's played in other bands when uh, Pelican Jed were sort of around in their heydays. So we'll try it. What do we want to get um, But yeah, so yeah. he's you now come and join Pelican Jed. A lot of the time, Jared would just uh, phone in on uh, FaceTime. Um, he's living in Queensland. I'm going good. Let me just boost up some volume. How you doing, man? How do I? Oh, there you are. Okay. So he likes to be involved in the sessions. Oh, really it's the first time I've ever used this um, FaceTime. It's not bad, huh? It's cool. It's pretty good. Are you on a phone too, mate? Hey. How are you going? Oh, my, um... You've aged well. <laughs> well, you know, I, I'm, I'm a yoga freak now, you see. Are you really? I do yoga. I do, I do yoga. You look 22. This is what, this is what my life's become. I'm, I'm a yoga, coconut water drinking, um, non-alcohol drinking hippie. Really? We're breaking, um, the we're breaking out the bottles, mate. <laughs> no, no session is complete without a bottle of wine, I'm going to tell you. Oh, I'm You're up for one? Yes, I'll, please. I'll, I'll, bring, I'll bring my spritzer. Yeah, 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 and the coconut, coconut juice. juice. <laughs> There. So I we're doing the uh, really bass part for a, Steer uh, Clear yeah, um, tonight. Um, yeah, so yeah, Mick's a a practiced idea. it pretty hard. Um, and he lives around the corner too, like so you can just drop in now. for a night. Yeah, that's all right. It should be fine now. Better? So for all of Mick's recordings, um, I just use guitar rig, you know, it's uh, so easy, um, it sounds great, you've got a lot of flexibility and you can save all the presets. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. It's an F sharp, a G to go with the A7 and then a C sharp to go with the third over the A chord. So. I love the C sharp, it's good. Yeah. So yeah, so you reckon slight, slightly different entry in. I, I, I think you yeah, we had a bit of trouble with this section of the song. Yes. When Mick originally played the, that bit, it was just a little bit too busy. Um, so we decided to kind of just knock back some of the notes a little bit. A gap. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. 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 Let's try that. Yeah. Song. Well, let's tighten it up a let's little bit. Let's tighten that up. Yeah, yeah that's the riff. Okay. <laughs> I, love, I love that I can, I can sing do 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 over a telephone. Nick, <laughs> you can play it, you can play it in about 30 seconds. That's it. <laughs> What do you think of that bit, Drev? 
yeah, it's really good having Jared just there, kind of in the sessions, just on FaceTime, just to kind of like guide the way through. Uh, Might be. Yeah, okay. It's Aeolian slash chromatic. Just, just, so, just so long as it's landing on the right. Um, yeah. 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 We could, instead of, because that A is hard to hit with the other stuff, that, um, so if I just played that on a separate track. Oh, of course, man. Is no, that all right? Don't it. tell anybody, but, yeah. <laughs> and if I just do the other notes. Um, you realise who you're working with here, mate? Yeah. What's that? <laughs> you realise who you're working with here? Yeah. That's it. The yeah, art, we're the bouncing kings. The art of the bullshit machines, <laughs> that's us. Uh, all right, so let's... <laughs> I think it was all yeah. good, good for yeah. me. Fantastic. Great. Yeah. Yeah, man. Do do another one? Another whole thing. Try Blue Sky? Blue Sky. Oh, shit. I haven't. Uh, I, yeah, sure. We'll try that. I hadn't even uh, heard Blue Sky for like a couple of months and uh, then suddenly missed going, yeah, now let's play that, that one. It's like I hadn't even opened the Pro Tool session for so about? long, so. Do you reckon I should go to the B there? Is that the one you were saying? Instead of holding the, the D? Because the D can go over the B because the B minor. Mix obviously well, the most know, classically trained out of the whole band. It should be a B. I'll do it. It sounds better because then it goes with the one I do at the end. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to fly blind with this because I haven't heard the track. So right, good. I'm recording this motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> Excuse the uh, toilet shot in the background there. Hey, I'm a sound engineer, not a cinematographer. Is that word in the song? Is catabatic in the song? Catabatic air. Is it mentioned in the song? Yeah, it's blue skies up ahead. Catabatic air. Because when you when you're saying like the catabatic runs, I, I didn't know what you meant. I thought the runs falling down. I thought it was cold air falling down or something. I thought I thought you were being really poetic when describing my bass runs like cold air falling. I thought, oh, okay, or whatever. That's brilliant. But I don't understand what catabatic was, obviously. I thought it was cold air falling down a hill. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I really like working with Mick in the studio because he listens to his part, he rehearses beforehand and um, you know he really knows what he wants. It's a delay. Is it going through the tune or that is it delaying it? Shouldn't be. That's just bizarre. Yeah. Uh, play it. Whoa, what's going on there? Your latency's gone crazy. Yeah, let's play again. <laughs> yeah, that was just really weird because all of a sudden this latency crept in. Reboot. I don't know where it came from. Reboot. Yeah. Try now. That's all right. Okay. It's because you had your glasses on, man. <laughs> That's what it is. That's what it is. That's what it is. Four eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I should drink coconut milk and not need glasses. That's it. <laughs> Is that all you need? That's it, and then another one. Should we have some fuzz on that mother? Yeah. 
And then I'm going to do a third, um, a one up here as well, an octave you, above that as well. So. Give me that, okay. So that was just using the um, fuzz on uh, a guitar rig there. Yeah, great effect. Is it phasing? It probably is. Yeah. I'll, right. If necessary, if it's going to be a problem, yeah. I'll tweak it. But I don't yeah. think it's going to be a problem. Yeah. Phasing is kind of what you do when it happens when you double phase. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. We're good. Yeah. Awesome.